Jamie Warner with the rules in the back. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Step back. Good luck to both of you. John Jones and Alexander Gustafson for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Big John McCarthy, our referee. The champion in the black trunks. The challenger in the blue trunks. Quickly, he throws a kick. Nice inside leg kick to start off by Gustafson. Gustafson has a lot of power in his right hand. Right away, it's already interesting seeing the distance. Seeing that Gustafson can close the distance in a way that we've never seen in a John Jones fight before. John switches his stance, then throws a spinning back kick. And John gets the clinch, but can hold on to him. You asked me earlier, Joe, is anybody else perfect with their takedown defense? And yes, that man, John Jones, the champion, has stopped all 16 of his opponent's takedown attempts. I should have been able to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming up. John looks very relaxed here. Nice spinning back kick to the body. That's a second spin. Nice kick there, the elliptical kick to the thigh, and the front leg side kick to the thigh as well. John has really started to incorporate that a lot into his game. And it's a very frustrating kick to deal with, but Gustafson answers with some kicks of his own. It stops you in your tracks, literally. You yeah. really torque your knee. Both the front leg side kick and the elliptical are very controversial because they, they hyperextend the knee yeah. if they land correctly, but so does a leg lock. You know, I mean, the idea that those should be illegal, I think, is pretty silly. And Jones, as you have said many times, uses them better than anybody. Yes, and there's a nice inside leg kick in return by Gustafson. The wild card is nice the wrestling. Nice jab by Gustafson. Of John Jones, so far, they have kept it on the feet. Which is what Gustafson wants. He feels he can outstrike the champion, who is in the southpaw stance again. Nice kick to the body by John. Gustafson changes levels. Gustafson is a very sneaky right hand, Mike. And if John is standing flat-footed, if Gustafson finds an opening, this could get interesting. We recently saw Anderson Silva defeated by Chris Weidman. Silva had been a perfect 16-0. Oh, and there's that right hand. That's what I was talking about. There it was. It glanced. It didn't land clean, but that's what Gustafson's looking for. Absolutely. He's looking to land that sniper shot. And there's a nice inside leg kick by Gustafson. Jones was in attendance that night. There's the right hand again. There's a bit of an adjustment period when you're dealing with a guy who's got a reach like either one of these gentlemen do. And this may be the first time they've faced a guy who can do what they're used to doing. Yep. John's cut. John is cut over the right eye. Gustafson with that big right hand. Gustafson again pushing forward. You see good striking by Gustafson here. Good movement, good striking. Spins again. Caught nice, him in the midsection. Nice spinning back kick. And there's that elliptical kick again. Head John kick. goes high. Gustafson appears to be very comfortable here in the first good round. Good combination by Gustafson. 90 Wait. seconds on the clock. It's and a again good right the right. hand over the top, snuck it over the shoulder. It's quick. Nice leg kick by John and a return by Gustafson. Gustafson said he would have the speed advantage. Superman punch. What, what Gustafson does have is very loose hands. The way he throws his hands is the way a guy who's been throwing boxing techniques his whole life throws them. Yep. See the blood rolling down the right side of John Jones's face. This Gustafson John with Jones the takedown. First time in the, first time in the time UFC. Career. By Gustafson. That's incredible. Right incredible. Back up. That's all that time spent with Phil Davis and the members of Alliance MMA. Hold on, he got poked, he got poked. 
Oh no. We can only hope this is nothing. Jones gets taken down for the first time in his UFC look career. Both of you are sticking your fingers out, like I told you, okay? okay. How do you look? Okay, Let's take a look at the replay up. here. Stay there. Yep, one figure, graze the eye. Both it doesn't look too bad, though. It doesn't yeah. look too bad. That didn't go in that deep. And Gustafson is kind of blinking a little bit, but not too bad. I think it's going to keep going. Here we go. And Big John said to both fighters, Joe, you're both sticking your fingers out. Let's keep an eye on it. Let's watch it. Well, they're both used to using that excellent reach advantage and holding guys off. Yep. Spinning elbow by John. John's really starting to get aggressive now. Kick to the body. Now Jones looks for the takedown. And he's got Gustafson up. Gustafson Final seconds defends. of the round. Big elbow Big by John. Big elbow. The champion is cut. The challenger is set for round two. The light heavyweight belt is on the line. And there's a nice inside leg kick by John. When Gustafsson defeated Thiago Silva in Stockholm, Sweden, when he was in the main event, the first event in Sweden. Look at that! Dos! But John's chasing after him now. Yeah, Look at literally this. Chasing Unbelievable. Him. Wow. Gustafson avoids. That's when people really started to say this kid is special. And he matches up physically with the champion John Jones. Well, I'm very impressed with Gustafson so far, Mike. But the fight has just begun. And John ducks under, gets the clinch. Can I take him down wow. again? He Incredible. usually gets that clinch, that Greco going, and you're going for a ride. Jones has had five takedown attempts stuffed by Alexander Gustafson. And one of the differences is in their approach is that Gustafson is much more light on his feet. He bounces around a lot, cuts angles left and right a lot. And Big John's got to really get out of the way yeah. of these guys. That's one thing they talked about in the camp, Joe, is the angles of Alexander Gustafson. Look at that. Haymaker over the top. And the gust of the loose strike. Look how light his, the way his hands move. Minimal effort. They just fly off his shoulders. Jones has never been knocked down or submitted. Oh, he can nice take, kick. John can take a shot. Yep. Guarantee that. We saw that in the Lyoto Machida fight. Lyoto tagged him cleanly with a straight left. And John felt that, that was an important moment for him because he learned he can take it. Spinning, Spinning again. Kick. And again with that side kick to the thigh. And another question is, with the way Gustafson moves, will he be able to continue, continue that for five rounds? Especially with those kick kicks to the thigh. Yes. Good point. And constantly hitting that elliptical kick that hyperextends the knee. Goes oh, high. Head kick. Big connection for Jones. Stuffed that one. Now John knows the Gustafson is thinking of taking him down. Woo. Wow, just oh, missed with the counter. And he's winging that left hook. And that nice jab as well. Those boxing skills. Over the top. Two minutes on the clock here in the second. And Gustafson does have an amateur boxing background. Defeated the Swedish national boxing champion. In all the interviews working our way to tonight, Gustafson showed a ton of confidence. Nice leg kick there. Said quite simply, I can beat John Jones any day. So far, he is right in this fight. Jones misses with the right. Again Good with the head kick. Again, but look at this. Caught the leg. John rolls under. Tries to get a hold of him. Now he's got a clinch. He's got the hands behind the hips. How about the takedown, takedown defense of Gustafson? Amazing. That's what you get when you train with Phil Davis. Yep, six for six. Incredible.
Absolutely incredible. That's a huge story in this fight. It really is. Gustafson with the right again. Nice right hand and a nice leg kick by John. And again with that inside leg kick. Stats are very even thus far in the striking department. They both connected there. Oh, going my. high. Uppercut. Nice uppercut by Gustafson, man. Gustafson seems to have the advantage with the hand techniques, Mike. John has been throwing some really nice kicks. That one checked. But Gustafson seems to have the hand speed advantage here. Final seconds of the round. Nine fight winning streak for John Jones, the longest active at 205. 5 0 oh versus current or former champions. Taken down for the first time inside the octagon earlier tonight. And he's still having a bit of a problem with that right eye, the cut above it. And from a very early punch from Gustafson. And there's that kick again. And as John continues to land these hard leg kicks, oh, big combination yes, by sir. Gustafson. A right over the top and a right uppercut. What I was saying is that those kicks are going to take away some of the movement, and some of the movement is what has been a key to the success of Gustafson. And as John continues to pick away at that leg, we see him being a little bit less nimble every time those kicks land. Checked. Gustafson remains engaged. A lot of kicks and good success with the kicks for John Jones. And he went with a spinning back kick to the head, Penn and Burrell style. Look at they that. Clinch up for Again, a second. Take down defense by Gustafson. Really impressed with that aspect of his game. And that is, look at that jab to the body and then up high. And that's something that he really realized he needed to work on, his grappling. And that's why he came to Alliance. Right hand over the top. After the Phil Davis fight, he knew that, that he had a hole in his game. And he knew that if he wanted to compete with the best fighters in the world, he had to make the move to America and go with the top camp. And not much better than Phil Davis to work on your wrestling with. Oh, high kick. Again. Uppercut, level changes by Gustafson. Third round. This has been, in, in John's side, the most he's ever been hit inside the octagon by strikes. And the most he's ever been hit clean. But he keeps on coming. Nice kick to the body there by John. And a return by Gustafson. Inside leg kick by the Swede. And then the real question becomes, what happens as this gets into the championship rounds? Is Gustafson prepared for that? He's never been there before. Good uppercut and a good right hand behind it by Gustafson. Big jab now to the body. Mixing things up nicely with the hands. Gustafson Another again right connects. Hand. Just High past kick. the midway point of this championship fight. The key to John's attack has really been the kicks in this fight. That's where he's been the most successful. Nice elliptical kick again. Hyperextended the knee. Switches it up. He's looking for the left kick now. Oh, he went with an axe kick. Man. And to the body. Kicks to the body, hard kick, and a yeah, left hand behind nice it. Left. That kick was hard, Mike. And you see Gustafson taking some big, deep breaths there. Yeah, John has thrown some really good kicks in this fight. But that was the first time you see Gustafson open his mouth wide and take big, deep breaths. 
Kick jab for the champion. Switching his stance a lot tonight. He's looking for that left kick again every time he does that. When he goes southpaw. Stuffed. Gustafson. One of three with his takedown attempts. Good hands again. He's finding John Jones's face. 45 seconds. Look at that. Both men. Gustafson retreats. Gets really? back to the center of the octagon. Excellent footwork by Gustafson. Look at that combination. And a jab and an elbow. John's looking for that spin. Yep. Yep, there's the elbow. Look at that. Gustafson grabs a hold of him. Can he get another one? Nope. Amazing that the takedowns in this fight have been Gustafson. Final seconds of the third. Check that kick. We are headed to the championship round. Jones went five rounds in his defense in Atlanta against Rashad Evans. He went into the fourth round with Rampage and into the fourth round with Vitor Belfort. But those were very different watch fights. It, watch it, watch it was a very out. different feel to those fights. This is a very competitive fight. And there's a nice left by John. This is the first time Gustafson has gone into the championship rounds, and there's that big right hand again. It's a very different fight than those fights because John was in complete control of the Rashad Evans fight by the time he got into the championship rounds. And the Rampage fight. Both those fights, he controlled the distance and utilized the strikes. But in this fight, he's the one who's been getting tagged. I mean, look at their faces. John has two swollen eyes, big cut over the right eye. There's a nice right hand by John. And he can't get a hold of Gustafson, which is really crazy to see. And there's another thing to consider, and that is the toe of John Jones that was badly injured in the Chael Sonnen fight. I know he had a lot of time to recover, but how much of that injury is still lingering? Good point. That He's a thrown a lot of kicks, though, Joe. Yes, he has. But that was a serious injury. That's nasty looking. Again with that right hand, the Swede. You know, when you see fighters enter the octagon, you never know what kind of injuries they're carrying with them. And almost all of them have something wrong with them come fight time. There's a nice jab by John. You said physically that Gustafson matches up better than anyone who has ever fought John Jones before. And the combinations he's throwing, just so loose, right to the body, left up top. But we wondered, could he handle the brilliance of the champion? And thus far, the answer is yes. And then some. Statistically, he has the lead. Nice leg kick by John. I would imagine that John has the leg kick advantage or the kicking advantage, is that correct? Yes. But in overall strikes, it's Gustafson. Nice straight jab by Gustafson. And there's a nice inside leg kick by John. And another. But, you know, we're in the fourth round now. I mean, something's got to happen here. Yep, over 120 significant strikes landed by the challenger. Oh. And again, beautiful left. The most impressive thing has not just been the striking of Gustafson, but his ability to stuff the takedown. Yep, in that slip and counter Look at a that moment left. ago. Again, and a right hand. teeing off. And John's got the clinch here. Let's see what, what he can do with it. A lot of time to work. He drops down. He's got his hands clasped together. Let's see the defense of Gustafson. Can he spread those legs? Can he get that base wide? He got him amazing, wow. amazing. And that cut is leaking into his eye badly. Not only does he avoid the takedown, but those vicious elbows in the ground and pound of John Jones. Look at the cut over the eye of John Jones. And that punch landed early, Joe, in the first round of the fight. And that's gotta be impairing his vision now. Nice left hook and a jab. 
Smooth boxing by Gustafson. And still moving very lightly on his feet. In and the again with the round. right hand. Despi Here's a takedown attempt again. Stuffed one more time. Wow. Despite the fact that he took all those leg kicks, he's still moving very well. Nine for nine. And another one. He goes up high. Takedown defense has been perfect for Gustafson. He has stuffed all nine of Jones's takedown attempts. Oh, nice left by the champion. Gustafson takes it well. He steps in with an elbow. 45 seconds left in round four. John looks for the spin. Again. He has a nice elbow. Caught him. Oh, that might have hurt him. Yeah, that did. Jones with a big a vicious knee. vicious knee and a vicious elbow. 30 seconds Gustafson's left in the in round. Gustafson, Gustafson trying to escape. And Gustafson stuffs the takedown even while hurt. Amazing. 20 seconds. And stays and busy. And again with a big elbow. Watch the clock closely. Gustafson is hurt. And he looks for the spin again. Gustafson's busted up now. Final seconds of the round. Flying knee. Gustafson is going to survive. Incredible fight. Incredible fight. Who would have thought we'd be going into the fifth round and John Jones might have to take Gustafson out to retain his title? They are on their feet here inside Air Canada Center. Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Fifth and final round. Wow. What a fight. Jones draws blood and at we, the end of the fourth. And we have no idea if Gustafson is fully recovered. Gustafson was in some serious trouble towards the end of the fourth. He got that left to land early. Nice right hand and a left behind it by Gustafson. Gustafson counters. Changes levels. Nice Jones kick with by the John. Kick. And he goes to the inside leg. One kick, two punches. Both men busted up. This has been an incredible light heavyweight title fight. One of the best of all time. And Gustafson looks to take Jones oh. on nice uppercuts. Four minutes remain. Oh, nice oh, left beautiful. by the champion. Superman punch. And when John looks with that right leg forward, look for the kick off the left. Gustafson with that right hand again, Joe. He's looking to go high with that kick. Nice elbow. elbow. Steps in with it. Quick uppercuts by the challenger. John's lips are swollen up too now, Mike. And look at this, Gustafson looking for the takedown. Those punches of Gustafson are busting up the mouth of John Jones. Good right by John. Can he get this shot. one? He Finally, on the 10th attempt. Jones gets the takedown. But he's exhausted, Mike, and he's got to pass this guard to do some damage. And Gustafson is scooting back to the cage. How much does John have in the tank now? Gustafson, Gustafson right up. up to his feet. Incredible. And John's taking some big, deep breaths here. As is Alexander Gustafson. John spit some blood out of his mouth there, Mike. Midway point of the fifth and final round. The UFC light heavyweight head title kick. is on the line. Big head kick. And J Gustafson just ate it. Yep. McCarthy warning them to close their hands. Gustafson with a kick. Gustafson just put his hands on his hips like he was exhausted. Another head kick. Gustafson might be in trouble, Mike. Two minutes on the clock. Gustafson looks like he's barely keeping it together with the way he's moving. Another big kick from Jones. 
Look, at, he's trying to make it look like he's okay, but I don't think he is. I think he's absolutely exhausted here, but still manages to stuff the takedown. Look at how he's moving away. Gets a couple punches on. Both of these guys are pushed to their limit in this elbow fight. from Gustafson. What an incredible fight. 90 seconds on the clock. And is Alexander Gustafson ahead on the scorecards? He may very well be, Mike. The big round for John was obviously the last round, but that might be the only round he's won. What an incredible title fight. And John may easily be winning this round, though, too, Mike. So all he would need was one of the previous, the first three. One minute remains. Another head kick. So you want to be an ultimate fighter. What a fight. 45. Let's Jones see if trying to make history tonight. Can pull it off down the stretch if he can really put something together to take this round. 30 seconds. Head There's kick. that head kick again. Gustafson missed with the uppercut. I'm amazed at Gustafson's ability to absorb that head kick. And another and again, one. Incredible. And, and an, an elbow. elbow. 15 seconds. Gustafson's got a chin on him, man. 10 seconds. And Gustafson with a trip. They are going to go the distance. Flying knee by Jones. Wow. What a fight. Unbelievable. What a fight. That might be the greatest title fight in the history of the light heavyweight division. Hard and to I argue. Have, and I have no idea who won. Incredible. History on the line tonight. John Jones trying to defend for the sixth consecutive time. But Alexander Gustafson was outstanding. Wow. And landed nearly 200 significant strikes. What an incredible, incredible fight. And there's a beautiful left hook by Gustafson. And there's a left by Jones. And there's the final takedown where Jones finally got him down. And here's a head kick blocked by Gustafson. So many head kicks by Jones. Not one of them put Gustafson down. Absolutely incredible fight. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 48-47, and 49-46 for the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! He sets the record here tonight in his toughest challenge yet.